say if you went lower like this, this is yeah. Here's a bit more painful, here's a bit more painful. Oh, because it's got more like a fat area. Yeah, yeah like, get my arm done. Like yeah. sponsors here. And, uh, it's just, this flower's for. It means the birth sign of my my boys. So. All sentimental stuff. Uh, uh, very painful. Painful. How long have you been in the chair? <laughs> in the chair today, I've just got here. Literally, 10 minutes. So, we're not very, not very long. I would recommend doing it and doing it. Is it painful right now, yeah? Yeah, painful right now, yeah. I won't talk too much then, will I? I'll let you have no, a No, you can give a crack on, mate. He keeps calling me a pussy, do so. <laughs> 17th of February, truck seat, you're going to be making, obviously, the long awaited turn. Yeah. The turn. So um, yes, yeah, it's, um, it's nice to be back in the mix of things yeah. on the Ross Minters and you know, Queensbury uh, rules uh, boxing. So uh, time to buckle down now and uh, just three more years get get what I should have achieved in it in this game a long time ago. So just, um, I'm lucky to get this. Uh, so not second chance, fifth chance. So I'm lucky to get another another draw at the at the table and um, you know, crack on with things. So how long do we approximately think this, this, gonna, this tattoo is going to take today then, roughly? We normally get, George normally does about two, three, four hours depending on what he's got going on. Okay, are you going to do it all in one go or are you going to have a breather for a little bit and then come back? It's up to him. This, we, is, we, we, this yeah. is like four or five sessions. How many sessions in? It's the third session. Third session. So yeah, he comes back, does three or four hours and then we walk him back in for another session. Okay, so all oh, right. So are you going to obviously take it all the way up your arm or is that is that going to be it? Well, that's it's, it's, that's it's, it. He's doing my whole arm, yes. Right, the whole arm, right. Yeah. My license when it got taken by the board, British Box and Border Patrol, they're saying, the medicals, they're refusing me to have a license, and the medicals I have now, with the Bieber, are so much more like, more in depth and, and better. I have to do more more medical bits on the Bieber than I do, did on the British Box and Border Control. And, um, yeah, so they're, they're, their medicals are so much more better than what we, we did on the, on the British Box and Border Control. What, 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 what more services do they offer? Uh, even when it, when it comes down to uh, being a, a, at a show, but they have now, on a show, they have a, like, a scanner of your brain that scans your brain. So if they can tell you if you've got anything wrong, that it shows up. And the, like, the technology they've got nowadays is crazy. Uh, they're so, so advanced, so more advanced than, than anywhere else. You know? it's, it's crazy. From the British Boxing Board of Control to obviously being under the uh, 2011, it was... Uh, uh, my last, my last fight for the mat uh, matron. I, uh, I was meant to fight Bradley Price for eliminate for the British and Commonwealth title. I ended up failing, not failing the brain scan. There was a change in my brain scan, and um, so the board took my license away for that for that reason. And then, um, yeah, so there's always been ever since. Uh, there's been a couple of people on the board that have ended up failing the brain scan or, or end up seriously getting hurt. So now they're like. They want, they're taking everyone's medicals away for, I'm not saying silly, silly reasons, but for any any changes that, that's taken them away, which they did with me. And um, in that, then I went, I've gone with the, the Bieber, Bieber um, Boxing Association. And um, now I'm fighting on the uh, Ross, Ross Minters uh, Queensbrook three uh, rules. Uh, on the 17th of Feb, I've got the truck suit. Get my name back out. And, uh, Get the ball rolling again. So when you obviously got your British sport, your, your British boxing border control license back, did you get it back, right? No, I've not got. I've gone through Beaver, British, Beaver. And, British, so and Ireland. Explain to us what the difference is between Beaver and the boxing. It's ball. just a different uh, governing body. Right. So instead of it being the British boxing border control, yeah, I'm with the British and Ireland boxing association. Right. So when it comes to fighting fighters of the British boxing border control, a license on the board, yeah, you can still fight them. I can still, yeah, uh, no, I can't. You can't fight them. I can fight anyone, ever, anywhere else or anything in the world. It's oh. just on the on the Bieber, uh, on the British. I can't. So, um, but that, it'll, it'll change. So, it'll, yeah. it'll change soon. Yeah. Right. So, oh. would you consider going back with the board in the future? Uh, or have you, you've got the door left open? Uh, Is the door uh, open for you? After yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anything if just got. To, you know um, they, crap, they frown upon. Yeah. Stuff. Like 100%, yeah. yeah. So I just got to do. 
if, if they accept it, they accept it. If they don't, they don't. So there's always other routes for me to go down the line and and, and fulfill my dreams. Yeah. Yeah. John Groves and Chris Eubank. Um, it's a fight that intrigues me personally. Uh, it's a fight I'm interested in and I really want to see badly. How do you see it going, George? Um, uh, I can't see nothing but a George Groves win. Too so intelligent. You know the way he, you know he, the way he thinks about. It's a game of chess, this game, and he's he's a master at it. And um, I think Groves, uh, Eubank would be too reckless coming in to fight George, and George is a bit too clever and a bit too smart. And um, yeah, I, I, don't don't be shocked. Uh, George, I'm going for George on points, but I reckon don't don't be shocked if George does stop him in later rounds, like round nine, round ten. And um, just for sheer, you know, just for sheer pressure and and timing of, you know, being accurate with, accurate with his, his shots. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going for George Groves. George Groves win. He looks much bigger. When I saw the two of them at the press conference, yeah, he does. He looks like a stone, yeah, stone yeah, heavier. Yeah, he yeah. Taller. Yeah. His shoulders on him. Um, he's vastly more experienced, I, I think. I, I think. Yeah. I think the only people reason because of last performances, everyone's leading towards Eubank because of the way he performed in in the last fight. But listen, this, don't let don't let the public get fooled into that. It's, um, George Groves is um is a cool operator. You know, he's, he knows what he's doing. He's um, switched on, and for the, these kind of fights, like this fight, he, he, he's got up for this fight. I mean, this fight's what's it's what makes him. You know. And, uh, Yes, yeah, so I'm going for definitely a full drive, drive swing.